What's up guys? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. In today's video, we have our February Ipsy Glam Bag. I will be showing you all the products that I got, giving you a little info on each of them, maybe doing a little bit of swatches, and I will give you my final look. So this is the bag, this is what it looks like. Now to be honest with you guys, I think this bag is pretty ugly. <laughs> That's like the only descriptive word that I can come up with as far as how I feel about this box. Box? It's a bag. Okay. Bag. Ipsy. Bag. Okay. Let's get it together. But yeah, I just, um, I don't know, I'm just not really feeling it. like. I just, it's just not my cup of tea, I guess. Maybe a different color with the lace. I'm not too sure. Let's open it, though. This month's theme is Unzipped. It's just a bunch of their stylist in their underwear, I think, in this card. Okay. What it says on the back of the card is being sexy isn't limited to a certain size, shape, or age. So that's really cool. And it's definitely not about airbrushing images beyond recognition. Okay, so we're all about body positive. So it's really just about embracing who you are and accepting that as a beauty and everyone is beautiful. So yeah, I think that's a cute theme that they got. First product we have is the angled brush from Farah. It's a lard, lard? <laughs> it's a large angled contour brush. On this side it says be beautiful, be you. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Ooh, this might be a really good contour brush for me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this on my contour. The hairs feel really soft. I got my phone out. I'm on the Ipsy app reading about this brush. It's synthetic bristles. They're 100% vegan, so that's really cool for everybody who cares about that. It says it works with wet or dry makeup, so that's really cool. And that's really it, you guys. It's for contouring. I do like the color, bright little purple, super cute. I'm excited to try this out on my contour, see how that works out. Next up we have a dry shampoo from Chlorine. I hope I said that right. It's a gentle formula for all hair types. Well, my hair's already done, so we're not really gonna try it out, but I do like dry shampoos. It gives me some lift, some volume when I need it. Some fun facts about the dry shampoo is this OG dry shampoo has been a backstage fave at Fashion Week and beloved by celebrity hairstylists and beauty editors for like ever. It absorbs oil and dirt quickly without leaving any icky residue. Sensitive skin, we got you. The super fine powder is made with soothing oat milk so it's gentle on your scalp. Okay, that's cool. Next we have Naked Cosmetics Lip Scrub in Vanilla Cream. Oh, it smells like, um, what's that chapstick that comes like in a little thing like this? Oh, I forget what it's called, but it smells just like that. I don't feel any like of the sugars or anything like that, but it smells like that one weird chapstick. What is it called? Oh, I forget. Oh, it's not that easy to get this thing back on. I feel like I've been getting a lot of lip scrubs recently, like in my subscription boxes. I'm like, give me something else. I'll take a red lipstick or something. This hydrating blend of vitamin E and moisturizing oils leaves your lips crazy moisturized and super soft. Love wearing lipstick. The sugary sweet exfoliator also smooths and preps your lips for all your fave colors. I will definitely have to try this before I put a liquid lipstick on. I feel like just recently my lips have been getting really dried out, especially when I'm wearing a liquid lipstick. So I'm excited to test that out. It says it smells like vanilla cake batter. It does not smell like va vanilla cake batter. It smells like that, that, that like major intense chapstick. Next we have an Ofra liquid lipstick, long lasting liquid lipstick, an Ipsy Unzip. So I'm thinking that this lipstick was made just for this Ipsy glam bag this month. Oh, it smells weird. Oh, I don't know if I could... Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Get this off of me! Oh. I can't believe I just got that on my, the tip of my nose. 
I don't know if I could, I can't even pinpoint what it smells like, but I don't think I could wear this on my lips. Let's swatch this. Pretty pink, purple undertone type of liquid lipstick. But yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could deal with this smell. It just smells weird. It doesn't smell like actual good makeup. It smells like gross. I don't know. And then on this side it says use code IPSY30 for 30% off of OfraCosmetics.com. So there's a little code for you guys if you want to go on Ofra and, and buy something. Yeah, it just smells kind of weird. Last up, we have a Pacifica Beach Crystals Natural Mineral Eyeshadows. 100% vegan and cruelty free. A super little small eyeshadow palette. These are existing shades from their other palettes, the Crystal Matrix and the Beachy Punk palettes. It comes with an old school little applicator. Wow, I haven't used one of those in I don't even know how long. Open it up, it looks like this. We got like a, a gold shimmer, more of a bronze, or this is like a gold copper, and then more like a bronze brownie shimmer we have like a purple shimmer and then like a bright lilac lavender type color that has some shimmer it looks like they all have shimmers in here and then more of a light pink lavender shimmer i'm just gonna swatch them on the back of my hand all right so we're gonna go into the copper bronze shade i don't know if you can tell but there's some good pigment on there with that little swatch they do feel pretty creamy Oh, it's kind of sheer. Can't really see it that much. You can kind of. Very subtle. This one's creamy as well. Wow, a lot of product comes off with that one. <laughs> kind of got all over the place. Again, pretty sheer. Let's go into this darker purple grayish color. This one's creamy as well. Another sheer color, kind of. <laughs> and then this is like a bright... This reminds me of Easter right now, an Easter egg. But it's very sheer. And let's dip into the last shade. can barely see that one too. I feel like all the purples kind of like look, these two look super similar. I don't think I would ever think to like use these colors on a makeup look. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Beach crystals, you're not going to go full glam, throw one of those colors on your lid, pop on some mascara, head to the beach and call it a day, right? But I don't know. I'm just like, uh just like <laughs> like that's all I can say about it you know like whatever so yeah that's it for the products in my February ipsy glam bag let me pick my favorite product what do you guys think it's gonna be yes the brush now I have one day I'm probably gonna do a video on my makeup brush collection but I have a lot of brushes I probably have a lot I would say like 70 to 90 brushes. But I'm super excited to try this one for my contour. See how that works out for me. This is my favorite product out of this glam bag. And I think that my overall star rating for this month when I go to review these products is probably going to be a three or lower. I will definitely try the dry shampoo. I'm definitely going to be using this contour brush. I don't think I'm ever going to use this liquid lipstick on my lips because I just can't get over the color of it. I'm sorry, the, the smell of it. I can't get over the smell. I think I will try this Naked Cosmetics lip balm, lip scrub I mean, sorry. Just to see if it actually does help out next time I wear a liquid lipstick. Maybe I'll then try it later. This guy right here, I just don't know if I'll be wasting my time even trying to use one of these shades. I have so many awesome eyeshadow palettes that this is probably going to get thrown in the little junk drawer of products that I get through my subscription bags and boxes that I don't really care for. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm not going to throw it away. I'm not mad at it. This is what I sign up for to try new products, and sometimes you just don't really care for the things that you get. That's why if you do have a Ipsy subscription. It's so, so, so important to make sure that you go on the app or go online on their website and review the products. And the more that you review and give honest reviews on it, whether or not you like the product, then 
you will most likely start to get things that you actually like and enjoy using. Like I always give any brush, no matter what it is, a really high five star rating because I just love brushes. Like who doesn't like to get a free brush basically and add it to your collection just to have? I know I do. That's like one of my favorite things to get. I always give those a really, really high score. If you're wondering about my lip color today, it's Dose of Colors Coral Crush. This bad boy right here. Oh. Okay, guys. This is it for our February Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing. Let me know down in the comments if you have Ipsy. Let me know what products that you got. If you got the same ones that I did. What you think about them. I am just curious. I want to know. I want to engage with you guys. So leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my unboxing Ipsy Glam Bag for February. Please give me a thumbs up. Like I said earlier. Leave me a comment. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.